Mark Zuckerberg offered these two guys millions for Snapchat, but he got the worst rejection. The story is crazier than you think. See, many young entrepreneurs dream that their company one day will become the next big thing and they'll be able to buy a Lambo or wear frosted chains like the Island Boys. But these two college students, Evan Spiegel and Bobby Murphy, who founded Snapchat in 2011, took entrepreneurship to another level. See, Snapchat started gaining serious traction in 2012 and its user base grew with rapid speed. The crazy thing is, Mark Zuckerberg had been watching from the sidelines, and he wanted part in the success. Same year, Zuckerberg flew to LA to meet the two young entrepreneurs and offered to buy Snapchat for $60 million on the spot, but they refused. Zuckerberg, in revenge, released a strong Snapchat competitor called Poke, but it failed and was shut down just two weeks after its release. Just a year later, Zuckerberg was back again, this time offering $3 billion, but Spiegel and Murphy rejected him yet again. This decision aged like fine wine, because today, Snapchat is worth a staggering $13 billion. 